So in this video, we're going to talk about why diabetics must understand insulin. This is very, very, very important. It's vital. If you're diabetic, type 1 or type 2, this video is vital, okay? Especially if you don't understand insulin. Here's what you need to know. Insulin lowers blood glucose or blood sugar, okay? We'll just call it blood sugar to make it simple. So when you're taking the medication insulin, it's lowering your blood sugars, okay? Now, if your blood sugars are 100 or less and you take insulin, what do you think is going to happen? If you don't know that answer, um, you're in some serious trouble because if you take it when it's low, you're going to end up with hypoglycemia, a much lowered blood sugar to the point where you become literally stupid. I'm not trying to say you're stupid. I'm just saying you're going to be like less aware of things. You're going to do things you're, you don't understand. You're going to be uh, very like un almost slightly unconscious, okay? Because the lower the blood sugar, the more unconscious you go, even to a coma. So you'll like just walk around like, okay, forgetful, that type of thing. So we want to avoid that. And the way you avoid that is keep your blood sugars normal, okay? So if you were to do a diet or a, or a ketogenic plan or intermittent fasting, that's going to naturally lower your blood sugars and the need for insulin is going to go down. And if you continue to take insulin without understanding what's going on and you let your blood sugars drop down too low, it can be very, very, very dangerous, okay? So why does insulin lower blood sugar? Because too much sugar in the body is toxic. So your body's trying to get rid of it. So the real bigger uh, plan for this is to get the sugar out of your diet and don't eat so frequently. It's the frequency of eating and the amount of carbohydrate in your diet that's keeping you on the insulin in the first place. So if we decrease that, the need for insulin goes down, the blood sugars get better, and you can make adjustments with the help of your doctor. But what you need to understand above all else is that insulin lowers blood sugars. And as you're monitoring your blood sugars, if they come down and you take insulin, you're going to actually allow yourself to get into a real bad place. So check with your doctor, decrease the insulin as needed if your blood sugars come down. And if you're new to this, click the link down below because I have a little mini course on what to eat so you can decrease the need for insulin because taking so much insulin over a long period of time is also dangerous to the body. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shaped Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to The Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, if you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning, it goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. 
It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, a uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.